Now make sure you wipe the blood yeah. off.
and we will put them on the sheet, kind of critique them and see how we feel about them and let prospective people that may be interested in them, let them know what they're getting into type of thing. Because depending on the breed of border collie that you get, you could be getting a nightmare if you're not prepared to drive an hour or two to some place that does herding and put your dog on sheep once or twice a week. Because when they have the kind of drive that these dogs have, they're not couch potatoes, they don't want to sit at home and just, you know, watch television and watch a drink beer, they just want to work. They want to go out of sunrise and work all day long. That's all they care about. And these are all border collies that you're seeing bred on the border hills of England and Scotland about 600 years ago. And about 200 years later, or 400 years ago, the Scotsman decided, after watching a, a fox and, and those kind of creatures, to watch the way they stalk their prey, they decided to bring bird dogs into the border collie to give them that stare. So that as they're staring at their livestock, in this case sheep, they don't care that there's drugs going, music playing, somebody speaking on the microphone. They don't care about that. They're so focused on their sheep. So they decided it was a really good thing to do, so they did it, and it worked out great. So as of today, we know of no other breed in the herding world that has that bred into them. So if you're watching a dog work sheep, if all of a sudden you see them crouch down and kind of go real slow like a, like a wolf or a coyote, You'll know that it, it's, it's a border collie bred with bird dog. Again, this is a rescue dog. Look how nice he's doing. Well, let me tell you how this whole thing works so you're not just watching the dog move around sheep. This works because it's a prey predator drive. The sheep in this case are the prey animals. Their natural instinct is to move 180 degrees away from a predator. The predator in this case is the dog. They're domesticated, but they're still predators. Their natural instinct is to go to livestock. So what they've done in the past, I like to take credit for it, but we have, this is years, 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 and years ago that they started doing this. They started taking the desire of these predators to want to go to the prey animals, but they started teaching them how to do it correctly, how to take that drive that they had to want to go to them and teach them how to gather very slowly and do things like that. So the way this thing works is that all animals, predator and prey alike, have what we call a comfort zone, a flight zone. We all have it too. If I said, look over there, there's a bear. Everybody can bring out their iPhones and start filming and thinking, this is really bad, there's a bear right there. But what happens when the bear starts walking towards us? Every one of us is going to have a spot in mind that says, that tree over there, I'm going to start backing away. That's your flight zone, your comfort zone. That's where you feel safe from this thing that could eat you. Okay? It's what enables the animal to stay on.
Katie, the writer, in San Diego, along with Michelle Green, of Fresno, who both produced two of the club tosses. Oh! 